This is CPM Pre-Calculus, Chapter 3, Number 41. So using the laws of exponents, solve for a in each of the following equations. So here we have 5 times 3 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to a times 3 to the x. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on both sides of the equations independently and um, be able to solve for a that way. Okay, so using the law of exponents, we know this is the same as 5. And we can break this up by saying it's 3x, 3 to the power of x, 3 to the x times 3 squared, right? This is going to allow us to go ahead and combine it like that and add them. Or we can separate this 3 to the power of x plus 2 by using the same base, raising it to the power of x and 2 separately, right? So <clears throat> this gives us then, um, we can rewrite this as 5 times I could change the order of these, right? Multiplication doesn't matter. So I'm going to put 3 squared times 3 to the x like this. So that's just rearranging it. On the right, we still have a times 3 to the x, a times 3 to the x. Well, if you notice, 3 to the x is a term in both of these. That means a is equal to um, 5, right? What's left over? 5 times 3 squared is equal to a. How can I do that? Well, I can divide both sides by 3 to the x, and they would cancel out. And then I see, well, that's just 5 times 3 squared is 9. 5 times 9 is 45, right? So a is 45 in part a. So let's go on to part b. Part b, we're asked to do the same thing, right? <clears throat> but we have a different equation. But I'm going to solve it in the same way. So first, I'm going to go ahead and separate... 5 to the power of x plus 4, and make that 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 4. Don't forget, you still have 1 over 25 here in front. And that's equal to a times 5 to the x, right? Both of these have 5 to the x. So I can divide 5 to the x, like I said earlier, and that's going to cancel these all out. And I'm left with just 1 over 25 times 5 to the power of 4 is equal to a. Okay? Um... One thing to notice is, what is 5 to the 4? Well, I can go ahead and write 1 over 25 as 1 over 5 squared, right? And then I can see, well, that's just 5 to the 4 over 1. So that's equal to 5 to the 4 over 5 squared. And that's the same thing as 5 to the 4 minus 2, which is 5 squared which is 25, right? I did a lot of steps here, right? Some of you might be able to skip a bunch of these steps, but we get a is equal to 25. All right, <clears throat> let's go on to part C. Part C, again, all these parts have the same instructions. Um, we have 16 times 2. Let's separate this. That's going to be 2 to the x times 2 to the fourth, right? Addition means we can go ahead and use the same base, and separate and multiply the two together. So we have 2 to the x in both of these, so that means what's left over, 16 times 2 to the fourth is equal to a, right? Well, what is 16 times 2 to the fourth? Well, that's just 2 to the fourth is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, four times, right? 16 times 2 is 32, right? I can pull out my calculator and do it that way. This is not equal to Four, this is equal to a, excuse me. 32 times 2 is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. 128 times 2 is 256. Okay? So again, maybe you could have skipped some of these steps, or maybe you just were like, oh, I'll plug that in my calculator, you get 256 for a, and you're good. Let's go on to the final part, part D. We get 1 third times 3 to the x minus 2 is equal to a times 3 to the x. So addition and subtraction are similar, but we just make this x plus a negative 2, right? That's how it's very similar. Then we can separate this 1 third times 3 to the x times 3 to the negative 2, right? 3 to the x here, that means what's not 3 to the x is equal to a. So 1 third times 3 to the negative 2 is equal to a. We could rewrite this as 1 third times 1 over 3 squared, right? We put it down in the denominator, 
which is over 1, and make it a positive exponent, equals to a. And that's just 1 over 3 cubed equals to a. And 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So 1 over 27 is a. All right. So that's going to end for a CPM pre-calculus chapter 3, number 41.